Hey, what's up, GFL Nation fans, uh, whatever. This is uh, Scott Millette, and it's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. We're in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We're heading out to meet up with our buddies from the Greg in the Morning Buzz Show. Uh, it's Thursday, July 14th, which is the day of weigh-ins. And uh, so we'll be uh, setting up the whole venue tonight. And in the interim, uh, this morning, 8.30, we're going to be on Greg in the Morning Buzz. And we're going to be talking about the uh, upcoming event, which is tomorrow night. And it's Matt Smith versus Trevor Stone. Uh, Adam Toussaint versus Rodrigo Almeida. CJ Haggerty versus Perry Philkins. And a whole lot of great amateur fights. So uh, if you guys came out to the, the venue uh, last year, you know it's a good time. And it's a great spot to see a fight. So I look forward to seeing you there. It's the Buzz, 842 Thursday, and um, big night tomorrow night if you are a fan of mixed martial arts. New England's premier mixed martial arts organization, the Global Fight League, will be uh, getting crazy at the Dover Ice Arena. We're joined in the studio from the uh, GFL. Scott Millette, get ready for GFL 12. Trevor Stone is also uh, with us this morning. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning, Greg. How are you? Look at, let, let me tell you. Trevor, how are you, buddy? How are you? I'm doing great. I'm ready to go. Good. Let me tell you something. Every time Scott comes in here, he's always a dog-ass tired. <laughs> I mean, you look good today. You look like, you know, normally you're like, oh, this is just so crazy. Today you look good, ready to go. Thanks, because I didn't sleep at all last <laughs> night. <laughs> Everything ready? We, yeah. Are we good to go? I'm feeling good. I'm missing one component. I came to get my case of desperation cologne. Thank you. <laughs> desperation. <laughs> Before we get to a GFL 12, I will back up and go to GFL 11, and I will talk. Uh, the reviews that I heard from it were unbelievable, including our very own Andy Blacksmith, who said it's, it's unbelievable, just an unbelievable event to go yeah, to these the, fights. The, the show that these guys put on at the GFL is just, I mean, the fighters are top notch, they're great fights, the production value alone yeah. of the show will blow your mind. It's, it's A plus all the way around. Yeah. The, uh, the the big match that everybody is, is talking about is uh, Trevor Stone against against Matt, uh, Matt Smith, and, and Matt apparently didn't want to come in and face me today, uh, really? which is totally cool, because you know what, I'm intimidating. I'm a physical presence. I think you can feel that. But uh, Trev Eclipse-like. Trev yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Trevor, Trevor Stone is here, and how are you, man? Are you ready to go? Oh yeah, I'm ready to go. When How you do a fight, and when you're in the when you're in the octagon and you do a fight and it lasts less than three minutes, are you, are you kind of angry that you work that hard? <laughs> you're like, are you kidding me? I just trained for like nine months and it's over. You, do you ever feel that, or is it just like, look at me, king of the world? Um, I never feel like that. I just, even if I wasn't a fighter, I really enjoy training and, and fight training and martial mm -hmm. arts in general. So I would be doing this whether I was a fighter or not. So I enjoy the journey more than the actual experience. Trevor Stone against Matt Smith, GFL 12 tomorrow night, Dover Rice Arena. Yes, we will have tickets. As, as a fighter, all you want is the win. But do you want to have him submit? Do you want to punch him out? What, what is like the ultimate rush for you? Uh, me personally, I really would like to finish a guy. I don't care if it's by strikes or submission, but I want to finish people and put them away so there's never any question. I mean, when it goes to the judges, the fights are so hard to score. Um, Somebody can always be bitching, right? Sometimes you feel cheated by yeah. the scoring system and things like that, and I only one of my fights has gone to the judges, and I hope that's the only one that ever goes to the judges. When you fight somebody, you, like how well do you know Matt? Are you friends? I wouldn't say we're friends. I mean, we're we know each other from the sport. We okay. fought in a lot of the same events. Mm -hmm. You know, we know we've known each other for a couple of years based on that. But I've never trained with Matt or anything like that. Have you ever fought in the ring a friend? Never. Would you? Would you? Uh, depending on the situation, yes. I mean, 
a lot of guys in the area are friendly because there's so many camps and there's a lot of cross training, especially my gym, we do a lot of cross training. What gym is yours? Uh, I train at Port City Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in Portsmouth and mm -hmm. I train at uh, the Shop MMA in Summersworth. Okay, all right. And uh, You're up in that stop. Yes. Right right, right. Yeah. All right. So Did we, you know we train around a lot, but we, uh, you know, that you're gonna have to fight everybody eventually. I mean, if you want to be ranked and you want to be high level in New England, you're gonna you're gonna run into guys you know or have trained with, and right. sometimes you have to take I, those fights. I'm gonna be uh, 12 fights on the card, um, and uh, we've got both pro and amateur fights. But mm -hmm. this is this is a particularly uh, special fight, and the reason why we put it together is because of. You know the conflicting styles. I mean, Trevor's really good on the ground, but Matt Smith's obviously two-time national wrestling champion, and and yada yada. Um, but at the same time, Trevor is known in our league for having absolute stand-up wars. Mm -hmm. And even though he likes to put guys away, he's gone to decision, and they've, I mean, completely covered in blood, throwing fists, and I mean, it's yeah. it's a it's a war. Yeah. And so that's something that we don't see Matt in very often. So that makes it interesting. Is uh, is is phenomenal. Now, where can they get tickets, Scott? Uh, you can get tickets on our website at uh, gflmma.com. Um, or you can also uh, you come, come to the door tomorrow night. There will be some tickets. Uh, this time, a little different. Last year, we had the beer garden, and this time, if you get premium seats, there's going to be waitresses in the premium seat oh. section, so it's worth that little extra uh, yeah. cash, you know, yeah. to have that personal service, which is cool. And, um, you know, 12 fights on the card. Um, we're we're going to have weigh-ins tonight. i got to give a shout-out to uh, my boy Nate because he's helped us uh, construct this uh cool lighting system that we're putting together mm -hmm. and uh, he's real busy because he works up at how and how tech so okay um, making little tanks and stuff yeah, like yeah, that yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah i got you but uh him and his dad helped us out a lot this week so i want to give him a shout out and uh we got to give a shout out to troy pickering uh he, 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 claiming to be the the most handsome man in mma wow <laughs> so, uh, andy okay. said it was him <laughs> well, in my fighting days I was yeah uh <laughs> It's uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a big night. We do have some tickets to give away if you'd like to go and experience uh, MMA fighting for the first time. Maybe you've never seen it. Maybe you have, and you want to go back. Triple eight five five six seven six two five. You still.